Hi everyone, I'm Arbozin, welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within The Long War. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. I was considering buying another Interceptor, and I normally would because for Interceptors is just not enough in the long run. However, that's 200 credits, and I want to get started on the foundry as soon as this generator is done, which is going to cost me 200 credits. So, I can't afford to do both right now. I prefer to get started on the foundry faster, so that interceptor will have to wait. I will excavate these two locations though, because I'll still have enough money. I need to get a mission or two, to get more credits, so hopefully that's going to happen. There's the satellite uplink, still need to wait for the satellite, unfortunately I can't get money just for launching the satellites, because all the pending requests for satellites will give me engineers. Not credits. So yeah. Anyway, foundry. Let's get started on that right away. That will take 18 days. And let's see what mission we're going to get. Small UFO. Oh, come on. 11 hours to finish repairs? That's slightly annoying. Let's try aggressive stance then. That will give us higher chance to hit. But we'll probably get hit more ourselves. I need to shoot this down with this interceptor. Otherwise, I won't get another chance. Okay, nice one. Come on, one more hit. Go, go, go. Awesome. Okay, so. Small UFO crash site. Oh, no crash site, right, because I shot it down over the ocean. Alright, no crash site then. I don't mind. We got two interceptors now, so. That's not bad. Also, this interceptor that we just launched should have two kills now which will give it a higher chance to hit because the way it works in the long war your interceptors have a kill count and your chances to hit with weapons actually go up based on the kill count when i look at my interceptors with zero kills they will have 25 40 55 chance to hit on defensive balanced and aggressive stance but this one with two kills will have 31 46 61 so the difference is actually quite significant. That's 3% per kill. I can also rename them like this. I can't pick my own name, I don't think so. I just have to use the randomized ones. But I suppose that's still better than Raven 1, Raven 2, Raven 3. More interesting at least. Alright, so there's the sunlight in just a moment. Weapon fragments. For one engineer, that's not a good deal. Okay, satellite is done. I have one pending request to launch a satellite in China. So that's what we're going to do, I think. Yep, I'm not going to launch any satellites over new continents just yet, because I would have to order at least three or four interceptors over that continent, and that would cost me 600 or 800 credits. I just can't afford that right now. So, China. That's 130 per month, and it would give me... it will give me two engineers immediately. Alright, sounds good. So, this is 25th March. Will we get any more missions? Another small UFO, alright. Let's try balanced this time around. I got two interceptors. Would be nice to do one more easy mission this month. To get some experience. Come on, hit it at least once. No, really? Okay, I didn't hit even once, seriously? Wow, that was pretty bad. Contact. Let's try aggressive this time around. Yeah, this is why I need more interceptors. For interceptors, is just not enough. This is going to be 55% chance to hit. Okay, nice one. Come on. Two hits wasn't enough? One more. Great. So that didn't work. That's fantastic. And I have no interceptors left. Unfortunately. And 20 days for repairs. Oh well, whatever. I'm probably going to lose a satellite now, which kind of sucks. That will cost me 140 credits. But maybe not. Okay, one interceptor. I will order one or maybe even two new interceptors immediately. I might actually order two new interceptors. 
They won't be wasted, I can always transfer them to a new continent once I launch satellites over new continents. So two interceptors and we'll get started on a satellite immediately like this. And let's continue. Our laboratory is done. So I should actually finish beam weapons research soon. 10 days for beam lasers, all right. I need money for the actual laser weapons too. Oh yeah, let's rename these new interceptors. Did I get them yet? No. There they are. Or was that something else? Yeah, I got them. So rename and rename. All right, so give us a mission. It's a shame I didn't manage to shoot down that small UFO. Light alien activity, 80 credits. All right then. Let's clear all of this. I might bring three proper soldiers and three rookies. What kind of rookies do we have? 71 aim, okay, that's nice. And 70 aim, 7 defense. Oh, I like that guy. Anyone else with over 70 aim? Nope. Okay, let's use proper soldiers for the other slots then. Which means at least one infantry for sure. I could bring my three most experienced soldiers to get some promotions. But this isn't a very hard mission. I would prefer to save them for a harder mission. Let's see then. Infantry. Or no, I have infantry already. So gunner. And assault, engineer. Medic, scout. How about a sniper? I do have one sniper. Let's bring the sniper actually, Raul. As for the last slot, Rocketeer perhaps? His aim is a little bit on the low side, so I'm not too excited about that. I could just bring second infantry, but I'd rather have that infantry available for another mission. Hmm. I have a lot of scouts, I could just bring a scout. Alright, let's bring a scout. Let's have a look at their equipment then. Infantry looks fine. That's extra ammo and extra aim. This guy is a gunner. So I could give him laser sight. And I could give him LMG. That gives him limited squad sight. He's very close to a promotion. He should get a promotion from this mission. And I think I'll keep the tactical vest. That will increase his movement slightly. He doesn't really need the grenade. Not really. Extra ammo. That's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, sounds good. So next up, we got the sniper. Laser sight. He won't need the grenade. He could just bring a medkit. Yeah, just in case someone gets critically wounded or something like that. And a tactical vest. He doesn't really need tactical armor. I don't think so. Next up, we got the scout. So she could keep the vest. Well, I wouldn't want her to die. And I already lost one scout during this game. Let's see then. I don't really like marksman's rifle. It's pretty hard to hit with it. I might just keep that assault rifle. Her aim is pretty decent, 71 aim. As for the flashbang grenade, I'll just replace that with laser sight and med kit with a grenade. Alright, looks good. Next up is the rookie. Tactical armor. Laser sight. Do I want more than one med kit? Probably. This guy can keep laser sight. So this looks good, let's go. Light alien activity, so this shouldn't be too hard. But I might start seeing new alien types. Like floaters. Obviously, I already had floaters during the supply badge mission, but that's different. This is a standard mission. Okay, I know this map already. This is a pretty small map. 
So there's usually a group right here. In fact, there's almost always a group over there. Let's not trigger them just yet. I'll move a little bit closer. So over here. And I could actually use steady weapon because they are very unlikely to run into me. I don't think they move at all. They just stand there and wait for you to trigger them. So let's position like this. And... No more cover left. Yeah, I don't want to run too close. She can use overwatch, but everyone else will use steady weapon. Should be useful. Well, except this guy, because he can't use steady weapon. Okay, so now I can trigger that group with her. And hopefully I'll be in range to actually fire. Three psych toys and a meld container. Wouldn't mind getting the meld. Let's see now. Sniper can't see anyone, apparently. Can I even take a shot from back here at all? Just with the gunner from the looks of it. 31% chance to hit. Not amazing. I don't like these odds too much, but let's try. Okay, that actually worked. <laughs> Alright then. So I could back up and then use overwatch on everyone. That's not a bad idea. Or hunker down and overwatch. If I get reaction shots, then... Reaction shot plus a normal shot will give me better chances to hit at least once than one shot with steady weapon in most cases. Well, that's one sectoid down. Here comes another one. And two more reaction shots. Including the sniper. Come on, dude. Nope. Okay, then. Using steady weapon versus overwatch is mostly a question of do you think you will get a reaction shot with that overwatch? If you get a reaction shot, then overwatch is superior. If you don't get a reaction shot, then steady weapon is superior. At least in most cases. So let's try to get some experience for our infantry. Nice one. I want to get a promotion on my infantry. I can't check the experience inside the game, or during the mission I mean. I can check the experience back at the base. Okay, let's grab that meld, if possible. That would be nice. I don't think there are any more sectoids in that corner. Probably not. Which means it should be safe enough to run over here. Famous last words? No, it should be safe enough to run closer. I only need one person to grab that meld. So, who can do that? Maybe the rookie? Yeah, you there. Go grab that meld. Alright then. Meld will never be wasted. I can always sell that if I'm desperate for credits. So this dude can position like this. This is the gunner. Who's this guy? Oh, that's the scout. Right. No, that's the sniper. This is the scout. Okay, I was confused. I thought she is the sniper. This is the sniper on the left side. Reload then. I might as well just reload everything. Better do it now than in the middle of combat. Reload. So I should get that meld on the next turn unless the container blows up literally right now, which it won't. Oh wait, no, I'm not close enough to grab it. Never mind. I need one more turn in that case. Let's not trigger any aliens just yet. I could position myself up here. Come on. Yeah, this is a little bit awkward. I need to move the camera around. Come on. Yeah, apparently moving up here is hard. Yeah. That's not really working. Yeah, moving the camera around is not helping, as you can clearly see. I just can't position myself properly up here. Okay, never mind that idea. But this is a little bit annoying. I can't move where I want to move. And the camera angle is not helping one bit. Yeah, I can't use the cover up there. Okay, we'll just stay down here. I don't want to waste too much time trying to position myself up there. And it's just not working, as you can see. So, Overwatch, I'm not moving. I don't want to trigger anything yet. I don't think I'll get any patrols running into me. 
Actually, I might have one punch roll. But I want to grab that mail before I trigger anything. There will be some floaters in here though. I can hear the floaters. So grab this. And move closer. This is full cover. Now I can go trigger the aliens. I don't think I'll be able to grab the meld up there. But who knows? I don't want to rush this too much though. Just for the sake of getting an extra meld container. Okay, floaters. So this should be interesting. I can try to kill one with my sniper. Or not. I have to move my sniper, otherwise I might get flanked. And I wouldn't want that. For obvious reasons. Let's position here then, and use steady weapon. I am flanking one floater, so I could try to kill it. What about this guy? He can actually try to hit a floater, because he gets limited squad side. I'm a little bit worried that I'll get flanked, but... I should be far enough. Yeah, I don't think this floater will be able to flank me and then actually fire at this guy. He's too far away to do that. Let's try to hit. Nope. But it was worth a try. I still got one shot on my scout. I could throw a grenade, but 76% is very good, especially against a floater. Let's try that. And 60% chance to crit. Nice. So one floater down. That's a very good start. Now let's move a bit closer and use overwatch because they will almost definitely move. In fact, I'm 99% sure that they will move. So they will trigger my reaction shots. I pretty much gave up on that second melt container now. Okay, he's coming. He's trying to flank me. This might be a little bit tricky to deal with. I don't have any high explosive grenades. I'll just have to take cover. Yeah. I'll have to take cover. Yeah, I'm not going to kill that floater with just one soldier. That's clearly not going to work. I'll position myself like this. I don't think he's close enough to flank my other soldiers. Actually, yeah, he probably is. So I need to move with the sniper now. Alright, let's stay safe. So you will move here. And these people will move here. I'll just keep everyone on overwatch. And they should get some reaction shots. So bring it on. There he is. He's moving. This should be a kill. Yeah, that's a kill. Nice one. Three kids out of four shots. That's very nice. And I still got one more reaction shot. Okay, that one missed, but... I don't even mind. <laughs> I'm not even mad. Just one floater remaining. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with. He's fighting. Oh, he's actually flanking my guy, or is he? He missed. Yeah, he is flanking my guy. 69% for the sniper. Come on, dude. Yes, that way. Nice, that's a kill. Awesome. Let's keep moving then. Well, after I reload all my weapons. So reload all the things. Reload, reload. Yes, let's rock, but let's reload first. Okay, I should have one more group in here. And it sounds like that's floaters. Okay. I don't mind. Any flying targets are a little bit annoying because they get... A defense bonus when they are flying. Oh, there's one more melt container in here. I don't think I'll get a chance to grab that. Yeah, this is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to move here. No aliens yet. There's usually a group in the corner of the map. So that's probably going to be the case. Like, right in the corner. Right here. There might be one more group. I'm not sure if I'll have one more group or two more groups. But this mission had light alien activity. So I'm pretty sure that's only going to be one more group. That's another chance to get some kills for my infantry. I'm hoping to get a promotion for my infantry, but we'll see if it's going to happen or not. I need to get at least one soldier in sergeant rank as soon as possible. 
the more the better. Okay, steady weapon. This guy might be my main sniper. If he gets a promotion from this mission. Okay, floaters. Which I already knew. The meld is gone, so... Not going to bother with that anymore. 46%. I still got my AP grenade. But I'm not close enough. I can be close enough if I want to. Okay. That's guaranteed damage. This won't kill the floater, but... It should do 4 or 5 damage at least, easily. Okay, 4 damage. Good enough. I could kill that floater with one more grenade if I want to. But let's try to get a proper kill. Right, I can't shoot from here. My gunner can take a shot. Come on, dude. Nice, that's a kill. Awesome. And did he get a promotion? Yes, he did. Very nice. That was a great shot. As for that remaining floater... Overwatch seems like the best idea here. But let's move around a little bit. I want my infantry to get a clear shot at that floater if he moves towards me. So like this. That's the sniper. Okay, Overwatch. He needs to move towards me? No. Oh, he's on Overwatch himself. Alright. I don't mind. Can I take a shot from back here? Oh yeah, right. That will trigger Overwatch. I thought I'll be out of line of sight. But apparently not. But he missed. 31%. Might as well try. Nope. I need to move closer with my other soldiers. I could just dash into full cover, which is not a terrible idea. I can try to take a shot. First. But even if I hit, that's not going to be a kill. Yeah, let's not take unnecessary risks here. I still have a few grenades, so maybe I'll just use that. So what about that infantry? I could position myself right here. Yeah, let's do that. He can't really flank me like this. And if he tries, I got my sniper in the back. So overwatch on the sniper. Overwatch on the gunner. Just in case the floater actually tries to flank me. Okay, reaction shots incoming. Nope, missed. My sniper might get a shot. If he moves a little bit more now. Okay, he's hiding behind the wall. One more shot with the gunner. Sure. Nope. Missed. Now I can use the grenades. I still want to get that kill on my infantry. So let's try this first. Before I use the grenades now. Can I flank that floater? Yes, I actually can. Let's do it then. My scout could use the experience too. 77%. Oh, I'm not actually flanking him, technically. He still had cover from that direction. That's slightly irritating. I need one more hit. So that's going to be a grenade, I think. I'm not going to risk leaving that floater alive. So let's get the kill using a grenade. Do I want that kill on anyone specific? Not really. What's the aim on these people? What? That was 76 aim. Not bad. This should be a kill. Come on. Yeah, this should be a kill. Unless I'll get really unlucky and only do 2 damage. But I had one more grenade, so this was safe enough. And it's done. 8 aliens. Not a bad mission. I got some nice promotions. My gunner got the promotion. I don't think my infantry will get one. Unless the mission experience will be enough. Okay, gunner got the promotion. And the two rookies got promotions. Let's check out the gunner first. So. This is a pretty tough choice. I like all of these choices. I do actually like covering fire more now. But I also like holo targeting. Hmm. I got one gunner with holo targeting already, I think. I might go for holo targeting. Yeah, okay, let's go for holo targeting. It's pretty nice with AoE suppression. 
As for these people... Rocketeer, 70 aim. Let's grab another Rocketeer. I only have one Rocketeer right now with fairly low aim. And another Infantry. 71 aim. Yeah, more Infantry. It's never a bad choice, especially with decent aim. What did we get? 2 alien alloys, 6 meld. Okay then. Some floater corpses. So, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.